Y'all look at the reflection of the horses in the water. I love that. Well, the horse and pony. And then uh, we're going to take you guys along. So y'all, oh boy, I don't like this. You guys come with us as we... Bucky's just go around. Oh, dumb. They got to have some kind of a bridge or something. They're, they're going to end up getting themselves hurt like that. He's only He only has one eye, y'all. And that'd be hard enough with amazing vision. And of course, down here comes Ivy. Donkeys are a whole lot more sure-footed than your horses are. Even if they had perfect vision. Donkeys are just amazing with their footing. Horses, I think pretty good, but not as good as donkeys. Well, good morning, folks. Lester here, and uh, I want to thank you all for joining us today. Uh, welcome to Longhorn Lester's. Today, I'm getting back from the JL Ranch property, and as I'm pulling in, I thought I would just give you a brief update, uh, kind of a state of the union uh, how everyone's doing here at Longhorn Lester's. We're going to start with this fellow right over here, Carl. Now, as of this morning, Carl is down alone here by the road. I'm going to tell you why. Carl's not, feel, well, he's not completely alone. He's actually hanging out over here with little Dinky Daryl. And Carl's not being very nice to me today. You see Carl's walking up with a little bit of an attitude. He might even charge the fence because sometimes Carl does mean things like that. Uh, what I notice is his beak and his legs. Hey, Carl, good morning, sir. Are you feeling grouchy? Are you being grouchy this morning, sir? We love you, Carl. I don't like you to be grouchy. Um, we don't see any happy hands. He's not looking sweet. Now, he's not doing all that hissy stuff, and he's not charging me. Hey, buddy. But I know his face, and his face is not a pleasant one. And so... Carl's doing what Carl likes to do. Now, the good thing about Carl right now, and I hate to say it's good news, but there's no tat um, to bother him, and they've not been having to deal with all of that drama. Tat's doing fine. Tat, along with Wanda, uh, we received a text picture on Saturday of them out grazing, and they look to be doing wonderful. So we're blessed for that. I guess Carl's ladies are up at the front somewhere. And sometimes they do that. Carl's very active. He'll move around. He and Dinky are just kind of making their laps. You enjoying some good grass there, Dinkers? I love seeing Dinky eating. I mean, think about it for a minute. Last year this time, this pasture, even though it's void of, a, of, the, of the delicious kind of grass, there was nothing here last year. It was just complete, just a wasteland of dirt. So, all right, we'll jump in sides over here. We got a lot going on over on this side. Good morning, everybody. Ladies and uh, gentlemen. Hey there, Danny. Danny. Yeah, Danny is letting it all hang out this morning. Uh, of course, Voodoo and Bucky's are also gentlemen, but they're way over there. Um, as you can see, our pony, Sweet Ivy, is still in that she's kind of in that gray area look here so all the four horses are over there ivy's not really in that cluster they've kind of pushed her off to the side which is kind of sad yet she's not over with our donkeys grazing across the little hill either she kind of thinks that she's kind of like not real sure who she's going to hang out with today <laughs> and i hate that for her we love that little girl so much she's such a sweet thing but uh i guess in her former life before she came to us she must have been pastured with a horse. I don't know that first fact. Guys, don't forget, we got her through Liberty County Sheriff's Department, their animal control. So I don't know her story before. Uh, all we know is that we got her out of a fence line and she's been with us ever since. We don't know who she's pastured with before. But as of right now, she still tries to be a pony, which is what we think that little dividing line between half donkey, half horse, we'll just call her a pony, all right? And I know she's not. She's a she's a donkey. But uh, she has a little bit. Hey, you know what, people? Don't forget the day and age that we live in. 
You can identify. <laughs> you can identify as whatever you want. <laughs> That's the most ridiculous thing ever, y'all. I swear. But as far as Ivy goes, yes, she identifies as a donkey. I mean, I'm so. Oh, no, 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 no. Ivy identifies as a pony. Yes, just a very small version of a, of a horse. All right, Carl, I'm driving on up. I do see goats about halfway up. We'll stop and talk about them for a minute. Good morning. Hi, everybody. Hi to hello. Good morning. Um, so it looks like most of our goats are over here on this part of the pasture. Now, remember, goats can eat things more weedy type stuff. Goats are more of what they call a forager, more so than a grazer. And so right now, they're not necessarily grazing. They're kind of foraging. But I take that back. I think by definition, foraging means eating things above your head. I do think by definition, foraging means eating things above your headline. So I'm sorry, they are actually grazing. Oh boy, and I'm glad I corrected that myself. Are you gonna come at me today, Carl? I don't know what he's up to. He's very agitated by something. Uh, am I bothering you by hanging out? I just don't know what you want from me, sir. I don't have anything to feed you, but uh, he doesn't have a happy face. No, he's not happy. All right, Carl, I'm gonna get back in my truck. The reason is I'm not afraid of Carl coming through my fence, but what I don't want him to do is hit against my fence and weaken the post. I do just not have all of that. But uh, listen, there's Laverne. Laverne is fine. She's a, uh, you know, she lost a baby last week. It was born breached and we were unable to save it. Uh, all the other babies here are fine, all, all the little ones. Uh, in case you still don't know the story of what happened with the Golden Girls and Finn, we did give the Golden Girls and Mr. Finn to Randall. Randall is the guy who's come working on our fence. Uh, he's been to the JL Ranch, Ranch property twice now for two different projects. And he did, in fact, take two Golden Girls and Mr. Finn to be a part, or actually to start him and his fiance's very own herd. And yes, they do have a herd. Uh, and it's going to start with the Golden Girls and their babies, along with Mr. Finn as their, as their breeding buck. Randall lives on the west side of Houston, and he has property that does not have anyone to forage it and kind of keep it cleaned up. And goats are the best at that. He does have a couple of cows as well. And Randall does that kind of, that's his lifestyle, similar to ours. But uh, he did want some goats. And so we were able to bless him with two of our golden girls and Mr. Finn. All of our goats here are doing fine. We do have two little males that need to be worked on at some point. That would be Starbuck and uh, the little tater chip over here. All right. All right, and then that's the status of all of our goats except for Mr. Ringo, who I'm certain we're gonna find laid up somewhere closer up the hill. He and Tilly, Ringo and Tilly don't really get out much. They, uh, Ringo has issues with his knees. Everyone knows that. And so sometimes Ringo will just choose to stay closer to the barn area. And Tilly is uh, just kind of quite the loner. Tilly, here's Ringer. I see Mr. Ringers right here along the fence line. Hey, bud. You laying there watching all your family? Okay, that you can do that. That's a good idea. Lay right there and watch them. You can keep them safe from there. Ringo is that good, y'all. He is that good that he can delegate. Ringo can delegate jobs. So right now he put Brady, the big galoot, in charge of the babies. And he has Lenny in charge of all the uh, the the, uh, the does. All right, and as far as Tilly goes, I don't see Tilly anywhere. But if you hold on a minute, we're gonna find her. Just give me a second. We were gonna go find ourselves a little Tilly. Hi, babies. Good morning. Daddy's home. Today we're gonna give these snacks to our piggies. I want to thank the kind sender for these. These are like little granola bars. They're called fruit and grain. I love. And uh, we're going to go ahead and open four of these now and I'll be able to pass these out to our pigs when I get out to them. 
So you guys come with me. We're gonna go find Tilly and our piggies. All right, I'm gonna try to be quiet as I do this because what we don't wanna have happen, uh, Trixie, do you mind? Look how good Christmas is. She goes around. Hey, babe. Uh, Christmas goes around the flower bed and Trixie runs right darn through it. All right, so what we're doing now is we're gonna go out and say hello to Tilly. I also see sweet Tina here standing by the gate. We might can offer her a snack as well. Oh, there's Debbie walking along the back side of the loafing shed and Tilly is right there with her. Now, if I can be quiet enough, the goats will not come running. But if they see me, they're all gonna come over here and just create havoc and just mess up a really good thing. So I'm gonna walk you to the side. Hey, sweetie, good morning, love. Um, so I will, there's, okay, so there's Tilly over here doing what she does, just kind of hanging out. Here's Annie and Andy along with one of our pigs. I don't know which pig that is. From here, I think it might be Oh, it might be Peggy Pig or it might be Pig Newton, but I just cannot tell. Which means the other pigs are probably here in this wacky pack shack. All right, you guys come in with me, okay? Good morning, sweetie. Hi, baby. Y'all come in with me. All right, we are sneaking into the wacky pack shack where I'm hoping to find three pigs. One, two, and three. Hi, sweetie. We'll start with you, sweetie. Oh, Pig Judy loves a snack. Hey, wake up, Tiny Tim. She's a girl. I'm sorry, lady. I don't mean that. I mean, no, do not. That tiny thing. Hey, Timmy. Eat that. Hurry up. Trudy's going to eat it if you don't hurry, Timmy. Well, I couldn't control it. Sorry. Guys, I tried. I tried. Sorry, Tim. Oh, man, that's sad. Timmy. Hey, Timmy. He's so mad now. You got to wake up, sir. Trudy, that was really rude. And then I see one last piggy over here. And then uh, before I leave you all, I will also spray Annie and Indy because they love them some water. Y'all want some watering? Let me give Pig Newton his snack. Look, you have a leaf stuck to your nose, sir. You have a leaf. You have a leaf stuck on your nose. <laughs> Lord. Okay. Oh, here comes all the piggies trying to say, hey, can we get some spray down too? Because we are so hot. They're so darn hot. Here we go. Who all wants some spray downs? Who wants some sprayings? Everybody likes to be sprayed down when it's hot. Okay. All right. We're going to also change out that water that Annie is standing in because it is nasty. Even the big birds like to be sprayed down. Oh, boy. That feel good? That feel so good to you guys? They're like, yeah, but we're not here for water. We're here for more snacks because we need some more. We're hungry. We're starving over here. We're so hungry. No, y'all are not hungry. Oh, you like that, sweetie? Does that feel so good to you? And, and you like, they like it too. And you're such a dirty girl. Yes, you are a dirty girl. Tiny Tim has an oily, his, the water is beating up on him like it would on a, Something that was recently armor -awed. I promise I've not been waxing my pigs. Y'all, Lester does not wax his pigs, okay? <laughs> Who waxes their pigs? Not me. I do think that those folks that show pigs, and you guys know more about this than I would, the people that show pigs, they do put all kinds of things to help their uh, bodies kind of shine. <laughs> uh, we don't do that to our little piggies, though. That's just a natural shine. I'm sorry, I was videoing. Not what I, I was watching, not watching what I was like, ah, I can't even talk, sweetie. You scared me, love. You guys are hot. You hot too, sweetie? 
Everybody likes a good spray down. Everybody likes a good spray down. You coming through here? You walking through? You want to walk through? Go ahead. I'll get out of your way. Go ahead. She's like, make some room for me, mister. I need to walk through there. Well, go ahead. Easy on my fences, please. All right. Oh, well, listen, I want to let you guys go now. Thank you all so much for watching. It's kind of a little Monday update on everything going on here at Longhorn Lester's. Who's who, what's what. And uh, all of the babies here are doing wonderful, friends. We want to thank you all for watching. We want to wa thank you all for loving and supporting us and being a part of this little adventure of ours. And uh, with that being said, we uh, will catch you guys on the next video. Don't let your troubles fester. Come watch Longhorn Lester. <laughs> yeah, something like that.